The Power Tone Tabato workout will push that VO2 max and leave you feeling breathless. I'm gonna take you through four rounds of 10 exercises in 20 seconds on and 10 seconds rest format. Grab your Power Tone bells and get ready. Okay, let's go. You want your palms facing each other here as you pull your hands up towards the shoulders and return them to your sides. Keep those elbows tucked close to the body. You can see that I'm alternating my foot position, incorporating a jump lunge into this movement. Feel free to keep your legs stationary if this feels better for you. Okay, we're going to start with a nice wide stance. Try and keep your arms straight as you pull the power tone bells through the water and up to the surface. Squeeze your glutes as you lift the bells. Big exhale. Okay, back to the hammer curl. Let's go. Final few seconds. Okay, for this round, let's try to keep your shoulders down away from your ears. Focus on the power coming from your core. Okay, a two-part movement here. Nice wide squat jump. This can be replaced with a stationary squat if you're just starting out. The second part is an upright row, so palms are facing you and elbows come wide as you pull the bells towards the surface of the water. Here our legs are going to be stationary, lunge position, one foot in front of the other. Engaging the core, extend one arm at a time in a fluid punching motion. We push and pull as we cross the body. I love this movement because it really is a total body exercise. You want to feel this in the legs, glutes, shoulders, and back. If your left foot was forward last time, let's switch to the right. Try to keep those bells fully immersed in the water to feel the full resistance of this exercise. This movement is definitely going to test your balance. Let's start in a lunge position. Keeping the shoulders down, alternate left and right, punching to the side. Be aware of any pinching in your shoulders. If you experience any, make sure to modify the movement so it's pain free. Here we're going to start in a lunge position with our left foot forward. 
you're going to bounce from your front to back foot while conducting a chest press with the aquatone bells. Exhale as you push the bells in front of you. For decreased resistance, switch to one bell. This round, let's really try and focus on keeping the shoulders low in the water and our hands soft. If we're squeezing the handles, we're sending unnecessary tension through the body. Try to relax. Round two, we're gonna start with our right foot forward. Really get your core into this movement. Keep it strong and tight to protect your lower back. Starting with our right arm only, we are working towards exhaustion here. Push and pull nice and strong. You can do it. Other side, let's go. Almost there, stay with it. This set is meant to leave you exhausted. We're working to get the heart rate up here. It's meant to feel uncomfortable. We're nearing the halfway point in our workout. Stay committed. I might be smiling, but truthfully, this movement is really tough. The cross-country skiing is physically challenging and tests your coordination. You want to alternate legs and arms, keeping the arms mostly straight with a slight bend in the elbow. Start with a nice wide stance here to give yourself lots of space. The resistance of the water makes these uppercuts extra challenging. Pull your elbows back one at a time and explode as you bring the bells to the surface of the water. Let's go! Notice I'm keeping quite a quick pace. Feel free to match this intensity or find a pace that feels right for you. Okay, one more time here. Stay strong and focused. We're almost at the halfway point. Let's push it here.
Okay team, round two. We're going through the same 10 exercises. This time, you know them well. Let's focus on form and consistency. Make sure you're keeping your core tight on this exercise. You can lose your balance very easily. Keep going, we're almost done. Remember to squeeze your glutes when you're doing this exercise and keep those arms straight. Try and keep your rhythm up. Almost there. I know you're feeling this, I am too, but let's finish strong. You guys got this, you got this. Almost done, you can do this. Great job. Think about those glutes. about your obliques, keeping them strong, keep that core tight, doing awesome, great job. Remember to connect your feet to the floor on this squat jump. You don't want to be floundering everywhere. Do a great job. Keep your chest up, shoulder blades back as you punch. You want to stay in control. You're almost there. Imagine you're on a rocking horse. Forward and back. Forward and back. Push those shoulders. Remember with your lunges to switch your leg position on each round. You want to keep this workout balanced. Press 
with your chest. Push it forward. Forward and back. It's okay to make waves. Yeah. 